at the end of a match where there were so few chances, how tough is that to take? Really tough, but for the players, I'm I'm okay. I think that this is a proud night for QPR, a real proud night. And the boys we had on at the end of the game there, some of these some of these academy players, some of these players who've been desperate for a start, Ryan Collins, Alex Ahoras, you know, and they look at the bench we had to put on. And the opposition are putting Sargent and Rowe and, and Ashley Barnes on, you know. I'm really, really pumped tonight because that's a really good night for QPR. OK, we've lost the game. I'm, I'm not stupid. I know we've lost the game in the last second. But the way that those boys performed, some have really opened my eyes tonight, you know. The one the one moment that uh, I'm regretting is Lyndon Dykes limping off. But, you know, you can't just put a, a team of... Of, of, of you know of the, of the youth team out. We, we've got to be competitive in this game. We tried to be. There was plan changes, and uh, we uh, we've given a right goal tonight. I'm so pleased that the uh, the fans gave the boys a round of applause at the end there because they deserve it. You know, there's there's a 19 year old there, an 18 year old on the pitch at the end there. Joel Walsh is making his debut. Zed Larkesh, I thought had a great debut. Um, there's some some names in that Irish team, but I think there's some future names in the QPR team, and that that makes me proud. I've got to ask you about Lyndon Dykes because we haven't got that many strikers. Is there any news you can share? No, he, he, I've just spoken to him. Um, he's feeling it's it's not as bad as having to come off. You know, I think he uh, he slipped. He said on the surface rather than a tackle. I think there was a tackle just before, but I think the slip after that is. Uh, as I don't know exactly what he's done, but I'm hoping he'll be fit. He seems pretty confident that it's not as bad as first thought, which is great. Um, but if he does miss, I've, I've got a selection headache with some of these young players. I mean, for me, like Ryan Colley and Alex Zahora, they've been waiting, they've been playing development games. Um, everyone's heard about them and know about them. Alex is a, an um, Iraq international and Ryan's the, the build is, is one of the next, uh, next good things to come out of our academy. I thought they both were, were great. You know, Joel Walsh as well. Like I say, young boys uh, making their debuts. Really, really proud and QPR fans should be proud of that tonight. The crowd did stick with the team, a crowd of not far short of 8,000. It shows that they're behind you and they're behind the players. What are you looking for from the fans against Ipswich on Saturday? The same as I'm looking for from the players. Commitment, support, um, belief, you know, standards that we've now set. I'm not going to ask the players to go out and repeat their standards if I'm not going to ask the crowd to go and repeat their standards. You were brilliant tonight, crowd. You kept with the boys, the songs, the chanting, the singing. I mean, Norwich travelled in good numbers tonight and probably expected to turn us over. Wow, there was no way we were going to lie down tonight. You know, there was some energy, there was some enthusiasm. I thought they were, they were, they were shocked by what we gave them tonight. And uh, this, place is, uh, this place is turning slowly, I'm telling you. I can't wait until people start thinking, What's happened at QPR? Because everyone thought they were dead and buried. We're going to do some good things this season. And with players like that coming on the pitch, giving all they've got, people cramping up. I mean, all I can ask as a manager. And I thought on the ball, we played really well, played some really nice stuff. Could have had a couple of goals, you know, there was a couple of good chances out there. And we really restricted Norwich from shots from distance. Apart from in the, the 109th minute or whatever it was, on the 100th minute where um, the cross is coming in. You know, if it was written, it was written. Devastated that we had to sub Lyndon through an injury. He was due to come off about two minutes later from uh, from a planned one, but um, everyone else has come unscathed and uh, we'll be strong on Saturday again. You've spoken about some of the young players. What role can they play this season? They're going to have to play roles, so it's not what they can play. They're going to be needed, you know. Um, I was pleased for Taylor, Elijah, you know, who've, who've been craving minutes from me, you know. Like I said, Joe Gubbins, Aaron Drew got another, uh, another, you know, um, appearance, which is good for him. Stevie Duke McKenna, where everyone's been and looking at for that energy, you know. So there's some real talent out there. There is honestly, and uh, and they're going to push these 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 older boys and. You know, God forbid we have a season like we did last year with injuries. I think we're 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 on a good place. We're we're not getting any muscle stuff. We're 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 doing really well on that side of things. But if we do, they're next in line. They're coming in. You know, this uh, this is what we're going to have to rely on. But I was proud tonight, and I thought they competed and matched at times what is a, a very good championship side. Really pleased. We're out the cup. Um, some say that might be a good thing. I'd have loved to get to the next round. That would have been brilliant. You know what? Well, that would have been perfect night. You know, with the win with the youngsters out there. But um, it wasn't to be. Let's get back on it Saturday. 
I'm sure we're going to have a full house, first home game of the season. Please get behind us. These boys deserve it. Their standards are high now, their commitment's high, and their belief is really, really through the roof. They really believe they can go on and win games. And uh, lucky enough to rest some tonight, which was good. I think Chrissy Willocks on, on his way back, Jack Clark Salter, uh, Jimmy, you know, there's, there's some good players that we've got in the treatment room just about to come back to add to what I think is a great squad. And uh, hopefully we can turn it switch over on Saturday.